you're at the final table of the largest buy-in event ever held in Ireland. Surrounded by the world's best players. An EPT high roller title is on the line. And you're facing a decision. Are you being bluffed? I got a strange feeling You got the devil in you My heart beats like thunder Dancing under the moon You make me crazy You drive me Welcome to Ireland. Yes, after an eight year hiatus, we have returned to Dublin. And what better way to say we're back than by staging the biggest buy-in event in Irish poker history. 58 players bellied up to the bar in this 25K. No offense, Ireland. And there were 12 re-entries, which means there's over half a million euros at the end of this rainbow. Plus, the final table's full of a fine bunch of lads. Yeah, we got a couple of former high roller winners, Mr. Cannett and Charlie Carroll, plus Chance Cornuth. Now get this. In the space of a month, he has final tabled three 25K events in a row. So you're saying there's a chance? Yes, literally. There's a guy at the final table whose name is Chance. Yeah. What a start to the PokerStars.com EPT Dublin Festival. All your favorites turned up for the High Roller event, competing for a share of the 1.7 million euro prize pool. Most left disappointed, with just nine players making the money. Three of those have already headed to the cash desk. Leaving us with just six of the best vying for the title. As it stands, the man with all the chips is the aggressive Italian, Mustafa Kanet. I have a huge chip leader, so I don't have to be worried. I can play more tight, open more, like see how the others, they react. So it's pretty good advantage. It's not the first time we've seen Swedish pro Anton Bertelsen at a final table. He was runner-up in Prague in 2014. He satellited into this event and now sits comfortably in second place. Third in chips is the baby-faced assassin, Charlie Carroll, who'll use his youth to his advantage. People call a lot more when you look like a 12-year-old in a live poker field. So I got my table image set for the next few years. Nicknamed the Silver Pigeon, Keith Johnson is another player to qualify for this event via a live satellite. Fourth or better today, we'll see him pick up his biggest ever live score. With such an impressive record in high rollers, Cornuth has more than a chance to take down this title. In 2016, I uh, final tabled the PCA, final tabled the Aussie Millions and won it, and I'm here on two bullets and I'm hoping to win again. I mean, ideally I could go back to back. <laughs> Second on Australia's all-time money list and no stranger to big buy-in events, Jeff Rossiter is the short stack and will need to use his experience to get the best of his rivals. So a pretty strong final table and I think it's fair to say that the two live satellite winners, Bertelsen and Johnson, have the worst seat draws with the aggressive Italian with all the chips on their left. I never got that whole left-right thing. Aren't they in a circle? Blinds 30-60 with a 10k ante. Jeff Roster first to speak. Says nothing. Folds with a smile. Chance Cornuth. Oh, reflection fold. Nice work, Janusz Kaminski. Anton Bertelsen was down just a couple of big blinds on the penultimate day, but made an impressive recovery. You know what I always say, James? All it takes is a chip and a chair. Copyright Joe Stable in 2009. Folded to Keith Johnson. He passes. Mustafa Kanet has ace seven in the small blind and calls. You've been so kind to me, I can't, I can't do anything. I'm a really nice guy, not like Chance. No, oh, man, <laughs> Chance is the worst. 
So Charlie Carroll checks his option and pairs his six. Can it checks? Charlie can bet second pair for value after Canet checks. He bets 80,000. Canet's got ace high, which would be beating some of Charlie's bluffs. He calls the bet, so we go to the turn. It's the ten of hearts, so Canet picks up a gut shot. Checks for a second time. And Charlie's probably confident Mustafa would not have checked top pair on the flop, and he shouldn't have too many tens either. Charlie bets a second time, 200,000. And when Mustafa does have a 10, Charlie will usually get a cheap showdown. Mustafa's called the 200K. It's a queen on the end. Charlie rivers two pair. Well, now he doesn't want a cheap showdown. He wants an expensive showdown, like a Zack Snyder superhero movie showdown. Well, it's been checked to Charlie for the third time, and he will bet a third time. Pretty big, 740,000 in the middle. He makes it 650,000. Should be a very easy fold. Sure enough, Mustafa lays it down. Charlie Carroll adds 390k to his stack. Everyone's now locked up more than 100k. There's more than half a million up top. A win for either Mustafa or Chance would see them clear a million euros in live tournament earnings this year. And we're only in February. February? Did I miss Christmas again? Blinds are now 40,000, 80,000 with a 10,000 ante. Mustafa can it under the gun. As 810 suited, he raises to 175,000. Kings for Charlie Carroll. Will it be a three bet or will it be a sneaky call? It's the latter, the sneaky call. Very, very sneaky. King Jack for Chance Cornuth on the button, in position. How much did you start with, Charlie? Like four, I think. We know he's in bad shape. Fold. And so did he. Ooh, pass, I like that. Might have to say that. Welcome to Europe, Chance. Now wait till you see how often you have to use that brush next to the toilet. Ew. Bertelsen has folded. Keith Johnson in the big blind. Johnson's big. Also passes. Not going to rise to that one. Heads up to the flop. So a flush draw for Canet. Carroll still a two to one favorite with Kings. It's always something. Mustafa continues for 200k. He can rep a lot here. And I think Charlie's gonna take the standard radio show contest approach of call, call, call. He has called. The turn card is a nine. Mustafa now with a straight draw to go with his flush draw. Which I think means we're only gonna see more barrels. 500,000. Once again, Charlie just calls. So far, so call. The river is a seven. That is a straight to the 10 for Mustafa Canet. Oh, come on. 1.9 million in the middle. Mustafa betting for value, 1.4 million. That's roughly three quarters of the pot. Mustafa's hand is pretty dang disguised. And this bet is polarizing. I beat some of your value hands. I'm not sure if I do when you get that size there. Ding! Oh, that's a less confident smile than last time. That's good. <laughs> No, I'm confident, I'm confident. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I believe you're confident in life, but I'm not so sure about this hand. I'm always confident, bro. <laughs> Dude's got more confidence than a 1920s grifter. Oh, well, there's one on the rail. <laughs> what do you reckon I have? I have no idea, but I don't care. I have king. Kings is a good hand. It's a really good hand, yeah, right? It's one of my favorites. 
to be <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you kind of deserve my money then. What can I have? I can have nine sevens. Threes. I can have three three, six six, a six, six five, six seven. Nines. Nines. Sevens? Mm, Maybe ten really, eight? Not really sevens. Maybe four five? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What bluffs can you have? All of them? I six bet ten six off suited yesterday, so I have a lot of them. <laughs> but that is not. Was the it point. off suited? <laughs> of course, bro. What do you think you're talking Double about? Double suited, let's go. He doesn't do this with queens or jacks, that's for show. Come on, don't stare at me. We are friends. Well, Charlie Carroll, it's time to make like a subtitle and read. Charlie folds! Good fold, bro. Good fold. Yep. Show one, show one. Huh? Show one. Uh, yeah, you can I'd pick see. one. It's the 10. Oh. That's a bad one to see. Is that bad to see? I mean, usually, you can have 10 8 of club, a king. I don't open 10-8. Uh, <laughs> I don't open 10-8 suited with this tax. That face when you think you've made a really good fold, but at the last second, you're not that sure. Hello, my babies. Want to listen to more of my jokes and embarrassing stories about poker getting in the way? Subscribe to DGT Not Live on iTunes or download it from soundcloud.com slash Live. There's guests, competitions, online dating. You can even get some behind-the-scenes gossip on the show you're watching right now. That's right, more layers than an advanced Rubik's Cube, which has two layers. More layers than that. DPT Not Live. Here at thepokerstars.com EPT Dublin High Roller Final Table, we've been privy to an incredible laydown. It's difficult to say how Charlie Carroll managed to fold his kings, so we asked him. Mustafa knows that people are going to be expecting him to try and bully the final table, so I thought that he was going to use big bet sizing for value. On the river, Mustafa reasonably quickly bets 1.4 million. This is where the hand gets kind of interesting. It's a really, really strange bet size for that situation. Mustafa had no idea what kind of hand I had. I could have a trap, I could have a misdraw. For him to take such a line would seem kind of reckless. So I started speaking to Mustafa and I told him what I had. A king. He looked a bit surprised. He started talking a lot. Kings is a good hand. It's a really good hand, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's one of my favorites, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I know that Mustafa does that in a lot of situations, whether he's bluffing or whether he's value betting, so I carried on speaking to him. What bluffs can you have? I six bet 10, six off suited yesterday, so I have a lot of bluffs. <laughs> I'd prefer not to say on camera one live tell that I had, because it's quite consistent throughout quite a lot of players, but I did see it on Mustafa as well. So despite the fact that there are a lot more bluffs in his range than by hands, I thought the live tells were a lot more important than the theory side of it. Um, so I decided to follow my kings. Good fold, bro. Good fold. I don't know, I thought it was pretty obvious he was bluffing when he pulled apart that cookie and started listening to it. Well, for me, it became obvious when he started weeping blood. Probably shouldn't give this stuff away, but whatever. I don't bluff people with crazy shirts or crazy <laughs> things. I love the crazy things, so I'm not gonna bluff you. You have a good image. Mustafa, was it 10-8 suited or 10-8 off suit? Which hand? <laughs> <laughs> you took the chips from Charlie. I had Charlie the 10. Guy. 10. I had the 10. Okay. Yeah. I've handled it now. I'm, I'm fine with it. No, it's a good fold. I've messaged my therapist and we've had a talk. Blind still 40 80. Action folded to Jeff Roster. Now on chance, Cornuth on the button. Bertelson in the small. 
How much you're playing? 900 Nine. and well, about a million, I think. No. A million ain't that much. It's like 13 big blinds. Market sixes for Anton. Probably good enough for a poke. He raises enough to put Keith Johnson all in. Ace five. Come on, you silver pigeon, fly. Or at least run around real fast. He calls. No, I've got the best one. Just one over card, but pairing that card's gonna lock it up for Keith just about every time. The flop. Seven five deuce. Keith flops a piece. Can now hit an ace or a five to survive. The turn card is a queen. Still five outs for Keith, an 11% chance. The river is a jack. Keith Johnson eliminated. You know what'd be better than bust out handshakes? Bust out milkshakes. It's just a thought. Please don't have any more thoughts. So Keith Johnson is the first man out. Cash is for 106K. Satellite it in for 3,000. Yeah, pay jump. <laughs> That's what we're all thinking, to be fair. Like, you need it. The rest of us are going to wait till he's out of earshot, but you know, whatever. You hear that, Keith? Everybody's <laughs> making more money now. Next player out will receive 137,000 euros. So we've got two big stacks. The rest are reasonably short. Chance Cornuth is in the danger zone. Danger zone! As the blinds go up to 50,000, 100,000 with a 10,000 ante. Jeff Rossiter, first to speak. Rossiter the bossiter. Jack nine of hearts. He raises to 200,000. Folded to Mustafa Kanet. He passes. Charlie Carroll in the big blind. Also has hearts. Ace eight. Super easy defend in the big blind. He calls. So it's the guy who dresses like a 1970s Miami dentist waiting room versus Australian Mike McDonald. Interesting way of looking at it. Oh, both flop a flush draw. This is shaping up to be a bigger cooler than the one where they keep Marlon Brando's spleen. Action check to Rossiter, who continues for 150,000. Bet call here would be quite standard. Charlie does call. And there's two of his supporters on the rail, Tim Riley and Ben Heath. The turn card is the eight of diamonds, top pair for Charlie. I think this turn's likely to go the same way. Action check to Rossiter, who's betting again. 400,000. Charlie's got a strong hand, but he's not nutted, so I don't think he'll raise very often. Yeah, once again, he calls. The river card. It's the King of Hearts. They both now have a flush. This is just a sick, sick cooler, and Jeff Roster is probably going to get hurt. Nut flush versus third nut flush. Hold him. Charlie shoves, and Jeff calls. Not surprised he called, but surprised he called so quickly when he had far from the nuts. So Charlie Carroll doubles up through Jeff Rossiter. Uh, it's a flush, Tim. That's what happens when you have five cards. That, you know what? I don't want to educate the fish. And Jeff is left with just six big blinds. <laughs> look at the way the mic pack weighs down Charlie's harem pants. Can you get me some food? I mean, come on, look at that outfit. Ben's not sure if he's talking to someone or having a fever dream. So the clothes that I wear, I get asked about quite a lot. I find it's a conversation starter with people. Poker has definitely given me confidence to wear them outside. Like, I'm not saying, you know, I never went out of my house, but usually if I went out, I'd try and uh, kind of tone it down a bit. But uh, because there's been such uh, positive feedback from the poker community about the clothes, excluding Joe Stapleton, may I add? <laughs> Charlie Carroll looks like Burning Man threw up on his clothes. Yes. It's kind of uh, made me feel a lot more comfortable wearing the clothes that I'm comfortable in. I think it's kind of ludicrous taking a step back and looking at my life that I am 
playing a 25,000 euro tournament and I'm only 22. I'm quite well known online uh, in a very niche group of people. Winning the 25k in Monaco definitely put my name on the map a lot more. So I was a lot more known throughout the higher stakes communities. Uh, taking down this 25k would mean so much to me. If somebody wins one big tournament, they can almost pass it off as just a one-off, but uh, I think if somebody gets consistent results, it might cement my place in the poker world a bit more. Well, as we rejoin the action, Jeff Roster is all in. He came over the top of Canet's opening race. He's getting called, and he is dominated. Domination Nation, and I don't think he'll be bossing his way out of this one. Jeff is looking for a jack. King high flop doesn't change anything. Roster still in need of a jack. He has three outs. Hart on the turn picks up additional outs. 12 cards save him. Any jack, any heart. It's the ace of spades. Isn't it weird that there are just as many aces left in the deck as jacks, but it's the ace that hits? It always annoys me. Can it KOs Rossiter in fifth place? Jeff cashes for 137,200 euros. As Mustafa increases his chip lead. You know, now that I think about it, Mustafa's fashion sense isn't much better than Charlie's. Those stars are questionable. Thanks for the insight, Gok Wan. Don't hate. So, we're four-handed now. Action on Chance Cornuth. Looking to win his second 25k event in a row. Jeez. He folds. Anton Bertelson. Satellited in for 3,000 euros. He has queens on the button. Lady Kings, hello. He raises to 200,000. Queen nine of diamonds for Mustafa Kanet in the small blind. Well, this is not going to be very well timed. The chip leader is re raising. It's a three bet to 530,000. Charlie Carroll folds. It's back on Bertelson. If Anton knows what Mustafa's up to, he'll just call. If he thinks he's got a hand he'll stack off with sometimes, he'll put in another bet. That's a re-race. Bertelson four bets to 1.18 million. Well, we know Mustafa should fold. He calls. He's playing a flop out of position without the betting lead with a dominated hand. Yeah, very interesting. An out of position pre-flop float. The flop is ace-8-8. Eight, eight. Bertelsen now better than a 9-1 to one favorite, but maybe a bit worried about that ace. Can it check the action to him? And looks like he'll continue. Mad credit for being able to fire on this flop after getting three bet and an ace comes down. He bets 700,000 into 2.5 million. Can it calls? Mustafa is a crazy person. Must figure this flop's super polarizing. Seven of hearts on the turn. Can it now drawing dead? Checks a second time. Bertelson has less than pot behind. He checks. We go to the river. Jack of spades. I assume this is where we're going to see the move. I just wonder if we'll end it with a twist or a pinch. Can it bluffs for a significant percentage of Bertelson's remaining chips. 1.75 million. Most dramatic glasses removal ever. This is an extremely convincing line. I'm not sure how often Mustafa expects Bertelson to have queens here, but this still might work anyway. His story does kind of check out. Maybe Bertelson will see the same thing Charlie saw. Bertelson folds! Show one. Show one. Pick one. I pick one. You need to pick one. You want to pick one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. can I pick that one? Yeah, pick 
queen diamonds. Oh, that could have been ace queen. Anton, it was ace queen, okay, buddy? Don't worry, nobody tell him. Mustafa Kanek closing in on the 10 million mark now. I like how you balance your show in range, though. <laughs> your customers. I have to treat you good, no? <laughs> in Italy, it works like that. I don't know where you're from. Why don't you ever treat me that good? <laughs> it doesn't work like that. In because America. you are not that good customer <laughs> compared to him. <laughs> That's not a compliment. Four remain in this high roller, and Mustafa Kanet looks unstoppable. It's the Pokestars.com EPT Dublin High Roller Final Table, where Mustafa Kanet has been leading proceedings. So far, he's had the other players questioning his every move. Well, that's a less confident smile than last time. You don't bluff people with credit shirts. He's jack suited like a boss. <laughs> Playing tight because he's right. I'm the craziest for sure. Like, I think Italian have that reputation because of me, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Mustafa's the best thing to happen to Italian poker since Max Pescatore discovered bandanas. Well, Canet has raised from the button here, and we, Joe, are going to sweat with Charlie Carroll in the small blind for the rematch between these two. Sweat with Charlie Carroll makes sense since it looks like he's on his way to Bikram Yoga. Ace King suited in the small blind. He three bets to 700k. Yes, let's three bet this clown, and also, namaste. So a chance Cornu folding the big blind. Action's back on Canet. Well, we already know he doesn't fold the re-raises, and this time he's in position. That's a call. Look. Thank you, you too. 1.6 million in the middle already. An 875 two heart flop. Not ideal for Ace King of Spades. Yeah, I'm fine with us not continuing. Charlie checks, Mustafa checks. Cool. Six of clubs on the turn. Well, we've got two giant spades on a mostly red board. I hate this, I hate our hand, I hate this board, and I hate his stupid mustache face. Charming. Well, Charlie's checked for a second time. Mustafa not checking back this time. No, of course not. He bets 550,000. I actually kind of like a fold here. Oh my god, what's happening in the background? That guy's more machine than man. Charlie decides to call the bat. I know we're going to face a bomb from Mustafa on the river. Jason Mercer, Natasha Barber know what I'm talking about. Jack on the river. Charlie checks. And here we go. 2.7 million in the pot. And it bets 950,000. What do you do here with ace, king, high? Fold the turn. Ace high, brother. Hmm? I have ace high, by the way. Ah, ace high. Oh, okay, I feel better now. <laughs> <laughs> We've pretty much the bottom of our range. <sighs> totally cool with a fold here, guy. I mean, unless you're in a hurry to get to the sunset meditation drum circle. No hard say. Hmm? I needed a heart. I put you on, on the heart. We could very well be good here, but there are just better spots. Don't waste my time. You are not beating anything with say size, so. Ding! No? King Queen, King Ten, Queen Ten, Ace Ten, Ace Queen, Ace Two suited. You beat something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. You look different this time to the time you had to I always look different, you know. I'm uh, schizophrenic. Really? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. More mental health jokes. We're going to get letters. Come on. You can be outplayed once. This hand, you cannot win it with this run out. Just right? If he has ace high. Why do I feel like you have nothing? I feel like I have something. I feel like he has something. 
Charlie Coles. I'm glad you the jack. Ew. You're so good. Gross. I'm so lucky. <laughs> I think it's correct. Most of the value about a jack and a four card straight board got called and was right. That's just creepy, but not as creepy as couples that wear matching t shirts. Agreed. Mustafa Kanet now has more than two thirds of the chips in play. Uh, Mustafa Kanet, uh, I'm uh, 25 years old. Uh, I born in Italy, I live in Vienna. I'm used to play this kind of tournament, so I try to take it easy. I'm always confident, though. I think I have a good experience. I won two, two high rollers. The 50K in Monte Carlo and the 10K in Barcelona. The PCA, I make 1400K. Uh, was a good tournament. In the final table, I had good chance, and I lose a huge flip and another couple hands, but it was, was a good tournament. Right now, I do what I was uh, dreaming to do like when I start to play it so of course I enjoy it and I try to enjoy my experience and experience with all the other players. We are customers. I have to treat you good, no? It doesn't make any sense to stay there with headphones, don't talk to anyone for like 10 hours. It's not funny for me, not funny for anyone else, so it's nice to, you know, have a good time. I shared a cab once with Mustafa from Nice to Cannes. Let's just say I hope he's gotten better at calculating 50% of something since then. Ooh. <laughs> 20 more. Blind's currently 60, 120. Anton Bertelton is now the short stack after being bluffed off those queens. Chance Cornuth with a six in the small blind. Alan. Shoves on Bertelson, who's got king 10. And he's pretty short. He calls all in. His kings and tens are live, his diamonds are not. If Anton doesn't improve, we will be down to three. The flop is six, five, three. So a pair for chance, but both of Bertelson's cards are still live. Low cards, bad. Possible straight on board, good. Deuce on the turn. So Bertelson wins outright with a king or a ten. He chops with a four. Any other card? He's out. KO. It was a pleasure playing with him, man. Yeah. Yeah, was it a pleasure playing with him, or are you just saying that? Come on. I'm sure he meant it. Chance seems like a nice guy. I'm sure it was a pleasure laddering up for him going out. Well, Anton Bertelson satellited in for 3,000 euros. He cashes out and forth for 176,640. If you want to look through the numbers, we can give a look. I mean, I, I, we can look. I can't do maths. I think no. you can have both pairs. Of sure, bring it. Oh, Ben. I don't mind. Ben. We need you. Players are allowed to select one person to take advice from when discussing a deal. Charlie's called over his friend Ben Heath. I don't trust myself to know what's there, to be honest. I trust him, though. Maths degree him? and drunk. <laughs> but I never go like you know, 10 or 15 k beyond ICM, which is likely what's going to be asked for. Okay. So what are their stacks? I have the two stacks. And then the rest? Uh, 2.7, 1.5, 1.6. Boring! There is like 70 million on play. Okay. No, probably it'll say he gets like 440, and in practice maybe he should get like 450. Yeah, I, mean, there's like like, a, I don't yeah. think there's any way in hell I'm doing that, especially with tells on both of them. I don't yeah. think this deal is happening. Six guys, 20 people's worth of egos. Uh-uh. Well, here comes Big Nick with his laptop. Hello, guys. Hello. How are you? Good. So, you guys want some numbers? Please. ICM first, and then. OK. So there's the ICM there. ICM's a formula. It gives a little more to the short stacks. We do have a minimum amount of money to pay for. Maybe Those are ICM, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's play. And <laughs> it's just not even close. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I'm positive. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. OK. Done. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. It's just... Yeah, 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 yeah no. no, no. Mm. Told you. You want more, we want more. Save us all some time. <laughs> no, actually, I was kind of close. <laughs> <laughs> At least they all agreed they weren't going to agree. So they're playing for the advertised payouts. 234 for third, 360 for second, more than half a million for the winner. And blinds up now to 80,160,000 with a 20,000 ante. Action on Mustafa Kanet, who has kings. 
He's pretty happy they didn't make a deal. The chip leader raises to 325,000. Pocket fives for Charlie Carroll. Uh-oh. Well then. He shoves for 2.75 million. Chance Cornuth with ace nine in the big blind. All in. He's all in. Really? I call. And can it calls? Hello, guys. Whoops, not so sure about the move with ace nine, but it's probably really close. Three way all in, and if kings hold, it's over. No ace. Charlie has chance covered, so he's set to get second place here. What do we have? Fives. As things stand, Canet is a 58% favorite to win this hand and the title. Even bigger favorite now. Can the best hand hold for once? Then we all get to the bar a little bit faster. This tournament about to end with a double bust out. Five on the turn. Charlie now set for a near triple up. That's no no Riley's feeling it. The other two now drawing thin. A deuce would be pretty enjoyable. A deuce would be horrible. Cornuth needs a deuce to survive. One off would be the deuce of spades, right? Poor Kings. Started off the favorite, now he's the dog. The river card. <laughs> Is a deuce. <laughs> a straight for Cornuth. Is he out? Pretty Charlie's not out, he wins the small side pot against Canet. Sick. And Chance Cornuth triples up. Here you guys. Uh, he I don't think he called You got so. me, remember? Oh, but you covered. Oh, hang on, no, I'm, I'm still. Yeah, yeah you gotta. Chip in a chair, that's what he's got. That's pretty fortuitous. Canet was on the verge of busting both of them and winning the tournament, but we play on three handed. I'm like, man. Hmm? I'm like, Unfortuitous. I realized very quickly I made a mistake and thought, I hope I have a chance to make up for it. Chance? You got that chance. Canet was so close to victory, but he's still in command. So you're saying there's a Canet? Well, if you want to experience all the drama of an EPT, why not try qualifying for a main event at PokerStars.com? By a divine act of the poker gods, we are still three-handed at the PokerStars.com EPT Dublin High Roller. A deuce would be pretty enjoyable. A deuce would be horrible. Sick. That's pretty fortuitous. Mustafa Kanet still remains on top, but he's taken his first hit at the final table. Could this be a sign of a change in the balance of power? Well, Kanet still leads with 8.8 .8 million. Chance Cornuth has 5.7 million. Charlie Carroll's the low man with 2.6 million. I think if either of us win this, we should probably give Mustafa the trophy. I'm agree. <laughs> There's a lot of shoulds in poker that don't happen. Yeah. Like I should not take my pants off while I do commentary, but I do. Just stay seated on the other side of the desk. Okay. Blinds 80,000, 160,000 with a 20K ante. Canet has jacks in the small blind. He completes Charlie Carroll with ace four of hearts. Chip and a chair time. Pull in. I call. Shove and a call. Charlie Carroll at risk. He's got it in as a two to one dog. Needs an ace or some hearts. Hoping to pull himself a chance, Cornuth. The flop. 955. Five. Pretty good for Jax. Thinking what I could do with 234k. Play nine more high rollers. Charlie's down to three outs. He needs the Barry Greenstein. He needs an ace on the river. He doesn't hit. Good game, buddy. Good game. Ah. I'm sweating. On the <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to clean my hand, wash my hand. Played well, buddy. It was a good play with you, man. That was fun. With him? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. on. Let me get it through. Oh, <laughs> life's fun when you're winning hundreds of thousands. Charlie Carroll busts in third. 
for 234,100 euros. Now quick, get him to the charity shop before it closes. So we're now heads up in this 25k event. Good luck, buddy. Let's have some fun. Mustafa Kanet looking for his third high roller win. Chance Corners looking for his second of the year. But Kanet has the chip advantage. Chance got pretty lucky to get to this point. He's going to need some more. You know, I think the biggest mistake of his poker career was coming on our podcast, but Ace-9 is probably a close second. Oh, come on. That was Mustafa's favorite episode. Real good, bro. So Kanat has almost a two-to-one chip lead over Cornuth as we get this heads-up battle underway. Blind still 8160. Chance has got an uphill battle, but this is far from impossible. Yes, I'm saying there's a, you know. Chance has raised with 10-6. Mustafa defending with Queen Jack. This is fine. Heads-up's weird. The flop. Gives Canet top pair, bottom pair for Cornuth. Chance probably likes his hand, but it can't get too much value from worse ones. Action goes check, check. Queen on the turn, two pair for Mustafa, open-ended straight draw for Chance. Top pair versus open-ender, things are getting interesting now. Canet leads for 450,000. Calling makes perfect sense. Cornuth does call. And he gets there on the river. He makes his straight. Can it? Still with two pair. Value bet's just over a million. He likes to value bet thin. I think we can expect to see a raise here a lot. Well, Chance has got the second nuts, right? Sure. Call. Wow, he just calls. Pretty tight just call. Probably thinks Mustafa's never calling with worse. Meanwhile, our third place finisher is on the rail and he seems happy with his lot. I'm feeling really, really happy. Uh, I don't really get the feeling of, uh, you know, disappointment if you come third because most of the time you're not even going to cash, so I'm feeling, feeling really good about it. I've been playing a lot longer since the first time a final table was a high roller and I'm definitely more comfortable with the situations and making correct decisions. I. Definitely put a lot of more emphasis into live reads than I think most people, especially people that have an online background. I'd hate to say which one I would think is better, but I know they're both incredibly talented and they played really, really well throughout the whole final table. Oh, come on, pick a side, Bella. Blinds 100,000, 200,000 with a 25K ante. Chance Cornuth raising the button with 7-3. Mustafa Kanet with ace-8. He defends. No reason to go two nuts there. The flop is seven, six, deuce. It's a chance flops best. Top pair. Top pair heads up. Oh, ye. With the action checked to him, he continues for 350,000. And with two overs to the board, Mustafa calls. A side could be the best hand. It's not, but it could be. The turn card is a nine. Can it is now open-ended. Not too much of a scare card for a pair of sevens. Can it checks. Cornuth checks behind. No reason to make the pot bigger, though. Jack on the river, so can it left with just ace high. And he's betting. He leads River for 900,000. Weird River Bluff. Ace High could be good. Can you beat a seven, Mister? Close your eyes and put it in. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. You know me, bro. I'm not sure anyone does. All right, let me think about it. Take your time. I'm uninclined to fold a pair. I know, bro. This is why I love you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I solved it. Chance folds the best hand. Solution, yes. Correct, no. <clears throat> Darth Cornuth still wondering about that one. Mustafa took nearly a million off him there. And he has regained roughly a two to one chip lead over his opponent. Cornuth's getting to the point where he's going to have to take some chance. Kill me.
you only have yourself to blame. Chance first to speak here. Ace 10. Raises to 500,000. Kanet has a small pair, threes. Ah, oh, maybe it's Mustafa who's gonna push the action. All in. He shoves on Cornuth. You have like deuces, right? Huh. Deuces never loses. No, they do sometimes. Patently false. Call. Chance calls, and we're off to the races. Oh, good thing you have threes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> this flip could be the decider. Chance is sucked out once. This one's way less uphill. Good game, Chance. It was really nice to play with you. I appreciate your optimism. Mustafa's already sizing up the trophy for his luggage. If his pocket pair holds, he wins that trophy and the half million euro first prize. Well, threes are holding. Uses will be better. They never loses. Chance has six outs. Charlie Carroll sweating the action. Queen on the turn. If I lose, I'm happy it's to you, but I wouldn't mind playing a little bit longer. I'm fine like this, bro. I'm we play next door. <laughs> I'm like a, a ten of diamonds, actually. Any ace, any ten. Don't think so. Eight of diamonds, maybe. The river. It's a jack. That's close. Can it closes the deal? Good game, buddy. Good game, bro. Good game, bro. Mustafa Kanet wins the EPT Dublin 25k high roller. People say there's no second chances in life. Well, they were wrong. Bro, I bust your your three percent, bro. Jason Mercy is more delighted than Mustafa is. Well, no deal was agreed, so Chance gets 360k for second, while Kanet receives more than half a million euros for the win. Mustafa Kanet. You've won 10K high roller. You've won a 50K high roller. You just won a 25K high roller. Where are you going next? Uh, the 100K, I suppose. <laughs> you think it's going to be the 100K? Your prediction for how long that's going to take? Uh, one month and a half, Monte Carlo. <laughs> I, love, I love the confidence in this guy. Uh, speaking of confidence, I noticed you were having fun actually throughout the rest of the tournament. There were a couple of hands you were playing with Charlie where you were very honest about where you thought your hand strength was. You're like, no, 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 just fold. I got it here. Is that just because you're having fun, or is there some strategy to that? No, no, it's strategy. Like, if I have nothing, most of I'm going to say something like that, too, so it's random. <laughs> All right, perfect. Well, guys, let's get a big round of applause for our high roller champion, Mustafa Kanet. I feel really good. I feel really good. I had a lot of fun. I really love to play and I really love the competition and winning is like the end of it, so it's pretty nice. Put a smile on your face like you never care. Sick of dream you could be out there. And it feels like I am on my own. I value but the jack, you're so good. I know, bro. This is why I love you. One more story to tell to my children. 